I'm making a mount for a uh, flight stick so I can use the <laughs> uh, play the joy basically uh, I'm getting into the virtual reality flight sims a lot this cat's distracting me hey baby um it's going to be a really simple thing that's going to mount onto this chair. It's going to just be a small piece of metal that sits against this bar here and then a bigger piece of metal that's going to go flush over the whole thing. If it didn't have the small piece, it would just kind of be at an angle with the piece in there. It'll be pretty straight. And then I'll uh, <clears throat> bolt the two pieces to this either two or four holes. I mean, it's not doesn't have to be that heavy duty, so I'm thinking two might be enough, but I'll probably wind up doing four. And then uh, there's going to be a vertical piece. It's not this piece. This is a flimsy little piece, but it's basically going to, the metal piece is going to mount to that, and then this is removable, so I can use it as a chair. So that's what it looks like when I drilled the two holes. I stepped these up to a quarter inch. And I just secured them like that, so now I can, without clamps, do the other two, and they're pretty much all guaranteed to be lined up right. <clears throat> so, one down. Just made sure I have this orientation set up correctly, since it's not all measured out and it's just templated. If you flip anything around, those holes aren't going to line up anymore. Alright, there... It is mostly assembled. You can see how, I mean, um, the whole weight of this chair is on this. So there it is. I should probably wait till I have a joystick to post this video up, but, I mean, it's just, I'm not making a joystick or anything. It's just kind of a mount. Um, it's cool because when that thing isn't on here, these are all just, um, I pretty much drilled and threaded these together. The only thing that's kind of annoying, you have to make sure that the metal's flush when you start putting the screw in because if you don't it might be like you know how if you, two bolts are like you're tightening them at the same time but they're not together it's going to be like and it's a lot bigger of a problem when it's just two big pieces of metal so you got to make sure it's flush is the only problem which will probably be easy to do I'm going to replace these uh, like pan head or whatever the hell they call these screws with the um, the rounded kind that like I have here I should mention too how it's it's angled a little bit. That wasn't like I didn't really plan that. It works. It's gonna work fine. It's not very angled anyway, and I think it's you know it's not, it's not angled the wrong way at least. Um, I basically just added this second piece of quarter inch metal back here to kind of be like a buffer between here and here. It's kind of resting on that, and that's why um, that probably sticks out just a little bit too far. That quarter inch, um, if it was like. I don't know. Eighth inch would probably be too thin. Quarter inch is too thick. So I'd have to like plane down this aluminum. So I don't know. I could have done something with the washers or. Uh, basically, I'm saying you can change that angle. I don't know if you have any chairs that are just like this, but if you did have a chair that had like a cushion and a something hard to mount to, you could just kind of adjust the angle by how it sits up against the cushion. <clears throat> 